Hey, John Cristana here. Uh, great to see you all. I have the outline over on the side. Let's, oh, let's see how this is working. Go live. There we go. There we go. Great to see you all here today. Uh, we're going to be talking about Jumbleberry today, which is a, a CPA affiliate network, which has a lot of opportunities for you to make, for you to earn commissions. Um, posting links, you know, as an affiliate marketer to different products. Now, if you want to follow along with me live on my outline, I'm going to be spamming my comments with the uh, link to join in on this document live. So we're going to be going over a few things in, um, in, this, in this video, uh, in this session. We're going to be talking about uh, we're going to be talking about the we're going to be walking through the network. We're going to be looking at how good I think this network is on a number of different factors. We're gonna be looking at the top offers that you can be promoting. Um, again, Jumbleberry focuses mainly on nutraceutical type products, so we'll go into that. And then we are looking at traffic tactics to actually go out and get sales. So for these different products, right? A lot of y'all, um, probably want information on how to actually post your links out there. And it's all kind of the same stuff, but we'll be going over some ideas and I'll be going a little level deeper uh, to try to give you an idea of how you can really start, start your business doing this. And then we will be going on to, you know, where you can find more information um, for learning this sort of stuff. So if you are tuning in live, let me know if you hear me and see me all right by typing in your country or the state that you're tuning in from in the chat and ask questions throughout this, right? I've made a lot of money. Uh, I've made tens of millions of dollars marketing different products online. As an affiliate marketer, I've done all sorts of different methods of making money online. So let me know what you're most interested in, you know? And if you're tuning into the stream, if you've been to a lot of these streams before, um, let me know what you're most interested in hearing about. That'll give you more ideas because a lot of times I end up saying the same stuff, you know, yeah. You know, posting on social media is obviously a way to make money. You know, doing ads is a way to make money. But I want to really add value to you. And I'm not going to be able to add value to you if you don't ask questions and let me know where you're getting stuck. Okay. So without further ado, let's go straight into things. Hello, uh, Delzita from California. Hello, uh, affiliate marketing. Wow. Affiliate marketing himself from Fresno, California. Brandon Carter, Jamil, Dinadon, Harold. From Pennsylvania, I bet it's cold out there, right? Um, Falal from Spain, etc. Let's go over onto Jumbleberry. Okay, so here we are on Jumbleberry, and uh, Jumbleberry is an affiliate CPA network, meaning they are paying. I mean, all the affiliate networks generally pay a mix between rev share and straight payments, but uh, I think what you're most interested in is in really getting started with them. And um, we're gonna go to the sign up page here. If you wanna sign up um, for Jumbleberry, right? It's a company that will pay you uh, to post links online and get sales of products, right? What you'll wanna do is you'll wanna sign up as an affiliate, okay? And you'll wanna, uh, you'll want to sign up for Pipeline, okay? So, Again, it doesn't really matter what you sign up for, but it's a very easy account sign up process. Anyone from anywhere in the world can sign up for Jumbleberry. It's not very hard, but let's, let's go in and actually look at the details here and see how you can actually use this platform, okay? So again, we are focused on the walkthrough first, and I'm gonna go over some of the major things. If there's anything that you have, I, questions about you're like how do I make money doing this or you know what you really want to know right keep in mind we're gonna go over traffic tactics and top offers later on but again this is you know I've made a lot of money doing this I want to add value to your day so without here we go now you see some of the some of the new products out here um, are at the top which is kind of uh, kind of cool and you'll see a lot of these e-commerce kind of gadget, these trending products, spy cams, right? Dash cams, all these different products you can sell, tactical pens, Wi-Fi boosters, 
a lot of these are very are trending right now as well as CBD gummies and different sorts of devices that monitor um, that monitor what you do throughout the day you can make a lot of money right this 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 dash cam right you can make sixteen dollars if somebody buys a dash camera okay uh, you can make and you don't even have to own the dash camera you don't have to own any of these products right um, a pulse oximeter right this is for old people right again sixteen dollars CPA you make sixteen dollars just for posting a link to somebody who might need this sort of product um, now a lot of now let's let's go in here okay so they have a very easy to use interface but what we're interested in is the discover button right here which allows us to actually find products that we want to promote so there are I couldn't even count how many products there are on this network that you can sell but there are a lot and you'll see the CPAs vary from you know ninety one dollars a hundred and five dollars and what CPA means is that's what you're gonna get paid if you recommend this product to someone else okay so we have an absolute ton of products here but the average CPA seems to be somewhere around 43 you know around 40 to 50 dollars okay now the really interesting part here is actually they what I do like about them is unlike uh, the dudes we were looking at yesterday click funnels they give you a lot of numbers uh, for you to be able to actually go out and market these things effectively. So they tell you, you know, what your BEPC, you know, the BEPC means it's basically your earnings per click, what the average earnings per click is on these um, on these ad networks or sorry, the average earnings per click that affiliates who are selling this product are actually making. And that gives us a really good indicator of of what is selling the best um, and how much we will earn on average okay EPC is really a measure of conversion rate okay now if we take the EPC here okay and we just assume $25 $3 divided by 25 20 that means this offer on average 11% of folks that are landing on the the page for this are ending up buying this product okay fast math second grade arithmetic right 11% of people are buying this product after landing on this page that is really good for us that means if you if you're doing traffic the right way right you send out 10 links one person's gonna buy and you're earning 25 bucks you send out 20 links you're making fifty dollars a day you send out 40 links you're making a hundred dollars a day okay so really good numbers here and what's even better is you can actually sort by the EPC range here so let's look at you know campaigns that are seen five dollars plus EPC and I really like that they allow us to actually filter campaigns this way and what we'll see is we'll see some of these top products are seen you know what is this five dollars six dollars five dollars seven and a half do dollar EPCs now why would you promote a product that is getting is is getting less is, is, is making anything less than than seven dollars and fifty cents when why, why would you promote a product that just doesn't earn as much per click you might be asking and that's because some of the top products they have a limited cap okay and that's what this number is right here see that cap cap 500 a week now when when you're hitting it hard as an affiliate okay when you're really spending money or you've got you know you've got a big social media following and you're you're pumping out articles to sell you know let's say a cannabis product a CBD product a skincare weight loss right you're gonna be selling a lot more than 500 units a week I was selling 1,000 units a day regularly when 
I was really hitting supplements hard on Jumble Berry. Okay, so you're wondering why would people promote promote any other product that pays out less? Well, it's because there simply isn't enough cap to go around. And in order to get the best products, you have to be able to actually be able to sell uh, online. And most affiliates, they just join an affiliate network and they don't sell anything, okay? So if you get a good track record of selling out products, you will get, you can talk to your affiliate manager and get cap on some of the, the most in-demand products, right? We're seeing $10 EPCs on this weight loss supplement, right? Um, $21 EPCs on this blood pressure product right here, okay? Now, in order to apply to campaigns on Jumbleberry, it's very simple. You just say, you click apply to the campaign right up here in this, in the top right corner. And you just click apply to campaign. And again, as, as you will in any affiliate marketing network, you'll have to actually know what, how you're promoting it. And let me know if any of this is helpful or if this is old, tired news to any of y'all. Um, again, I wanna give you guys the goods here. Okay, so you just say, you know, YouTube ads, you know, or however you'll be promoting it, you know, Germany, display, you know, and submit application, okay? So not, not very hard to apply to a campaign. And as you see, this particular offer is killing it in the German market, right? German blood pressure. And the, what's also great about, um, about being able to filter, uh, filter campaigns by EPCs is we kind of get a sense of where the money is, okay? Where is the money? Where, is, where are the hottest markets? And for instance, promoting blood pressure supplements in Germany was something I'd never think of when I'm doing marketing, okay? It's something I'd never think of if I was actually uh, starting to do affiliate marketing, but being able to look at the data from an affiliate network itself would tell me, okay, this, this, is, this is selling very well in this market. I am gonna go out and try to market a blood pressure supplement in the German market. Okay. Let me know if that makes sense. Now, what's also nice here is we can sort by demand, okay? And we can say, I only want to look at high demand um, products that are in very high demand right now. And this is great, but what's also worrisome about demand is that you'll be able to see that a lot of these have a very limited cap. And if you're looking to earn tens of thousands of dollars um, a day or a week, right, the maximum amount you could earn with this product, for instance, this Sanby anti-aging product, is 250 times $25 a week, right? So if we do 250 times 25, right, that means we can only earn maximum $6,000 a week selling this product. Now, if you're a smart marketer, right, you are rotating your links and you are selling multiple different types of uh, skincare products depending on what is sold out and what's not. And a really good program that'll allow you to manage, um, manage caps and manage all sorts of, uh, you know, if you're selling multiple products at once is volume, okay? Um, volume is a click tracker that is, um, that allows you to rotate offers really easily and also manage your caps. It's really all in one affiliate software. If you're looking to get started with volume, I'll post a link to it. And I'll post a link to that here, okay? So Falal fell. Um, yes, the upsell is tied to it, but that does, does is everybody upselling? Falal, you tell me. What's the upsell rate? What's the take rate? 
Now, that term, so some of this terminology, it, you know, EPC, what the average affiliate earns per click. Okay? Now, the upsell, we don't know what percentage of folks are actually upselling here. So that's, here, let's, let's bring up this camera right here. We don't know what percentage of people are actually buying this upsell, do you? I don't, so I'm not factoring it in because the upsell rate, it could be 1%, it could be 50%, but it's probably not more than 50, right? So we don't know, okay? And that number is called take rate, okay? Take rate. The average percentage of people who purchase and ups the, the upsell, okay? But since they don't give us these numbers, it doesn't really matter, and I'm not, I'm not gonna factor it in. Now, generally speaking, a good rule of thumb is about a 25% take rate is average, okay? Now, another sort of average rule of thumb for EPC is generally, a $3 EPC, I would say, is the average for a strong offer. Okay, Anything over a $3 EPC tells us that this product is, has a really good funnel is, or is really high in demand or is trending, one or the other. Okay, Does that make sense? It's blended EPC, yeah, so it's same thing as EPC. Hey, what's up, John? Hey, Daisy, I'm most interested in interviewing you inside of my, okay, well, you know, po post the name of the Facebook group, but, you know, or send it me an email. Um, I haven't got to that part of SAS yet. Okay, keto pills, cool products offers, yeah. Okay, so let's get back to the walkthrough of the network. Okay. So as you see here, Jumbleberry is almost exclusively focused on nutraceutical products. We have a nut we have a brain boosting supplement right here. We have a weight loss offer right here. We have another weight loss offer this time in the keto diet niche. We have CBD stress release gummy bears right here. We have keto weight loss, more weight loss, more gummy bears for stress, male enhancement, what this means, male natural enhancement, that means, I can't really talk about it on camera, but you know, boom, right? You get the idea, it's not, and it's not your arm muscle, okay? Um, so you have a lot of different sorts of supplements, and the reason why supplements are, a lot of affiliates like promoting supplements is because they pay out so well, okay? The typical cost of, uh, the typical profit margin um, on a supplement product is 95%, okay? Meaning most of the money, even in your Walgreens or your CVSs or your Whole Foods, Right, the typical cost to manufacture for the raw materials of supplements is 5% of the actual product cost. So when you go into CVS or when you go, you, you go buy some of those pills, and it's the same for all pharmaceuticals, by the way. Okay, frankly, supplements, this, is, this will throw you for a mind trip right here. Supplements, the cost is generally 5% for the packaging and everything. Whereas for pharmaceuticals, okay, like the, the, the drugs you take, right, all the, all the pills the doctors prescribe, right, the profit margins on those are generally 99% and up. And, I mean, it's a crazy number because it just, it is, right, that people will pay, uh, I, I, you know, every, any, the reason why people take supplements, it's some sort of, I don't know, there's fear somewhere in there um, that you're gonna die or not be healthy or something. So people are willing to pay crazy amounts of money 
um, and they want, and also the trustability, right, being able to know that this is stocked by Vitamin Shop or this is stocked by Whole Foods allows everyone throughout the supply chain to mark up products a lot. And that's why doctors have the ultimate level of trust. They're able to mark up, the doctors and the pharmaceutical companies are able to mark up products a lot. So there's a lot of money in supplements and selling um, and selling them. And Jumbleberry is one of the premier affiliate networks. They're paying out over a hundred million dollars a year to affiliates. And if y'all ever want, and, and these are all private companies, right? Because they don't need investors, right? Everyone, the affiliates, the product owners, and the affiliate network Jumbleberry, everyone's making money. So they don't need investors and they don't need to disclose their numbers publicly like a lot of these Silicon Valley or Wall Street firms do. Now, I don't know if you have, if you'd like me to like try to interview some of these folks uh, that run these companies sometime and get more specific numbers as to what affiliates are earning, um, but they're earning a lot of money and the biggest affiliates around are using Jumbleberry uh, as well as other networks similar to it, okay? So let's keep going onwards. So I did a little bit of a walkthrough, right? What's nice is we can find these high, you know, you can do a lot of different searches and they're giving you actual numbers on how much money you make from these products. They have a huge selection of any sort of supplement. Um, we got that. You have report, it's easy to apply for offers. They give you multiple ways that you can actually run reports and they give you some audience insights into things. I actually haven't used this tool before, uh, but oh, this is, this is on your own traffic, okay? So let's, let's go further um, into it. So how you get paid with, um, how you get paid is you can get paid two different ways. And let me just, um, Okay, so you get paid three different ways, right? We see right here, this is a screenshot. You can get paid direct deposit, which means they wire it straight to your bank account, or it means they just deposit in your bank account. You get paid wire transfer, or you can get paid through PayPal. So I like that. That's pretty good. That means basically all the payment options are covered. And moving on to the next step, which is our network review, right? They get, they get a 10 on ease of sign up payout options i'll give it an eight simply because they don't allow they don't allow you to actually withdraw the money that you earn in crypto right that's a nice little convenience for some folks not that crypto is necessary um it's just like a roller coaster ride uh although a, there's a lot of folks out there who claim to know how to uh trade it i don't talk about stock trading on this channel or anything like that because um Frankly, there's so many scams going on right now and I didn't want to attract those people in my comments section. And if you are posting about trading in my comments section, you're going to be banned, right? You're just going to be banned. Nobody, no, it, there's too many scams going on. I'm, we're not talking about trading here. I had a few questions about that. Money opportunity with Jumbleberry is definitely a 10 out of 10. Okay, this is one of the largest affiliate networks out there. Um, they pay out the most, and again, they cater to, really, they cater to top affiliate marketers who are using landing pages, who know what they're doing. This is not for beginners who don't have their own websites, um, okay? If you want to learn how to market programs like this and how to, you know, get landing pages set up for you and actually have us, um, help you actually do the targeting and all the marketing for that, right? And, and get referred into these sorts of networks. You can apply uh, for my mentorship program. Um, there's a little questionnaire and that will direct you to whatever program, you know, I have a number of training programs and mentorship programs that'll direct you to the program that'll be best for you based on, you know, what country you're in and such forth. Okay, so let's keep going here. Um, in terms of competition, there's a lot of competition in the nutraceutical space. So uh, also, 
um, competition, you're not just facing competition from, from other people promoting these sort of supplement offers, but you're also facing competition from the likes of Facebook, okay, and Google, and Instagram. Because Instagram, Google, Facebook do not like supplements being marketed to their consumers. It's a little too close to, you know, medical drugs. And also, I mean, the profit margins are obscene. I, I, I don't know. They just don't like this category. Just like Facebook and Instagram do not like dating, they do not like supplements or any other sorts of ingestible items that are not from venture-backed companies that have connections in the Silicon Mafia, right? Silicon Valley Mafia. So since you're facing an absolutely enormous amount of competition here, I, you know, I mean, from, from Google and Facebook, right, the competition, I'd put it at a one. Actually, I'd, you're not doing anything illegal here, so I'd put it at a two, um, right? It's really, really hard to get some of these landing pages and to get some of these products out there because there is so much money in these 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 products okay there's just unbelievable amounts of money in these products and for those that are wondering where i made you know my first 10 million dollars as an affiliate marketer it was marketing it was marketing supplements okay pure and simple i was marketing weight loss supplements i was marketing skincare supplements, I was marketing male enhancement supplements, I was marketing muscle building supplements, I was marketing CBD supplements, I was marketing blood pressure supplements, anything, right, all over the world. And I didn't even, I would market in languages I didn't even know. And it's because these products make a lot of money, but you have to be able to deal with competition, okay? If you are looking to earn $100,000 and up per day, Supplements is a great place to be. If you're looking to earn hundreds of thousands of dollars per week, supplements are a great thing to market, okay? If you're looking to go from earning nothing this month to making $100,000 per day, literally per day, one of the only categories you can go from that go from zero to 100,000 a day in, within let's say a 30 day time frame, is supplements. Um, now again, it's not easy to get to that point, but that is one of the only markets it is possible. And it is possible to go from zero to $100,000 per day marketing supplements, okay? Um, so let's go, okay, so we have competition. The competition is enormous here, okay? And in terms of the amount of resources that uh, Jumbleberry offers its affiliates, um, there really aren't many, okay? As you see, all they're really giving you information on is what is the type of product, right? It's US Full Sale CBD, right? It means there's no trial. It's not like a free trial. Free shipping. Buy three, they give you some pricing information. They just tell you it's mobile responsive, which is has to be obvious. And that's it, right? That is it, okay? Now, they so they really aren't giving you any resources. And again, this is why Jumbleberry caters itself to advanced affiliates, because again, you have to know what you're doing going in to marketing these products in the first place. So. You don't get any landing pages or anything. Now, the affiliate managers you work with will give you more, in, uh, can give you more, can, they can give you landing pages, they can give you various things that will help you out if you are already a qualified affiliate. Again, only if you're a qualified affiliate because most people will just hit up the affiliate manager and say, Hey, can I get some landing pages? And then you'll save them on your computer and you'll be like, I got a landing page. What do I do now? Right? And, and, and then you don't do anything. Okay, so 
So they don't want to waste their time either because affiliate managers are commission-based. Everyone in the supply chain in affiliate marketing is incentivized and everybody um, can make money. Right? Um, other, but they do offer information on the EPC and the cap, which I really enjoy. And if affiliate network does not offer information on the EPC, it is an immediate huge markdown in my book. So therefore, I'm just gonna give Jumbleberry um, for being able to give us EPC numbers. I'm actually gonna put that at a five, okay? Because that's how important I find EPC, okay? That is how important I find it. Uh, I don't care if I'm given video, display, you know, ad, post, creative. If I am not given information on how well this product is selling, what the conversion rate is, how much other affiliates are earning per click, I'm, st I'm flying blind. And the way I've been able to be successful in affiliate marketing and the way my students are able to be successful in affiliate marketing is because we do the math and we know the math before we get in and promote an offer. So we know the math from the ad network and we know the math from the affiliate network and we take this various information and we put it together in a story that will tell us if we have a good chance of making money or not. And it's really not difficult. And we do that through advertising because again, we don't, you know, the students that go through my program, you know, I know lots of the folks here on YouTube, I, I, the demographics say like 80% people here are broke. Um, but again, you know, you just, you know, you're in Bangladesh or something. Uh, but the math is generally, uh, when you're doing advertising, that's the best thing. Okay, so overall, we're giving Jumbleberry, what is that, a 35? Right, yeah, 35 out of 50. Um, not for lack of money opportunity, just because it's harder for beginners to get started here, okay? Let me know if this all makes sense. Again, folks, I highly suggest you always sign up for affiliate networks, um, even just, just to get their newsletters because it's free to sign up for affiliate networks. And I highly suggest you sign up for Jumbleberry. Um, uh, I'll put the link in right here. Um, because you'll get on their lists and you'll start seeing what offers are trending and whatnot. Um, and they do have trending offers as well. Where, where did I see the trending offers? Right, we have top performing campaigns over here. Okay, let me go into the chat. Let me see what questions you guys are have. 100K per day as an affiliate auto. Yes, yes. You know, so uh, I, I actually did $100,000 in one day once. Um, for a while, for a period of about two months, right, I was earning about, I was earning somewhere between twenty to $35,000 per day, right? That was my best consistent high scale run, right? Twenty to $35,000 per day selling supplements every day for two months, again, Keep in mind, I'm spending money on ads too. So, you know, my profit margin, but my profit margins were pretty good. Um, but that being said, that's what you can do as an affiliate marketer. That's why affiliate marketing is the starting point for almost every online business owner because it's so easy. You don't have to actually create the labels. You don't have to ship the product. You don't have to handle customer support. You, you don't really have to do anything and you're getting these fat commission checks, okay? Um, where would you promote if you can't on social media? Social media. <laughs> a lot of, so we'll go, let's talk about, um, uh, let's talk about, <laughs> it's against the rules, but it's not against the law, right? But we'll talk about some of that in, in a second here. Um, let me get, but you can talk to the affiliate manager for more resources. Yes, any supplement I tried marketing on Google was disapproved. Yes, supplements are against the rules of uh, Google and Facebook. Um, that being said, it's not hard, it's very hard to get disapproved for anything um, if you're marketing it on YouTube, okay? 
Uh, but that being said, don't ever go against the rules or the laws. This channel's for entertainment purposes only. I'm really here just to tell you how people are promoting. Um, don't take my advice for anything. I, I don't know. I'm supposed to say stuff like that. Um, New Zealand, great to see you, G Jeff, or G off. I don't know which. Um, great, great to see you. Uh, who else is here? Okay, good to see everyone. Cloaking, yes, Prika. Uh, that's awesome. I need to sign up to Jumbleberry. Okay, so let's go into how you can reasonably promote these offers um, in, in a way. And we'll talk about traffic tactics right here top offers we showed a couple various ways of searching for the top offers here right you can search they have the top performing campaigns up here which shows you it's all just regular mix of supplements we also have epc which we can search for the top performing or well really the top performing offer would be the ones in the highest demand okay and that would tell us that we're seeing skincare products we're seeing some just a bunch of supplements, right? Male enhancement, again, bloom. Uh, we got nootropics, we got keto diet, a lot of keto diet offers and a lot of CBD offers. This is what's trending right now and nootropics, okay? But again, the problem with the highest demand offers is you're going to be stuck with a limited cap. Now, many of you folks are just learning, looking to earn $10,000 a month, so the caps aren't going to affect you too much. But in my case, you know, if, if you're a big affiliate, they would. The best number to look at, I like looking at BEPC to see the top offers. Because for me, conversion rates really paint a picture of where the market's at. And if I'm seeing German diet, right, a German diet offer is seeing a $10 EPC, right, we can do some quick math here, okay? Second grade arithmetic here folks i mean check out this math right this is germany switzerland austria we take the epc which is ten dollars and 61 cents and we divide it by the cpa okay and this is very simple you divide it by the cpa and that tells us this means the conversion rate okay this is the conversion rate and this means that 24% of people that land, that view this product, okay, the offer page, which is, so they kind of give you a, a preview of what it looks like, okay, zu unseren Produkten, right, whatever this languaging is, 25% of the folks that land on this page, one in every four people end up buying this product, okay? That's insane. That is insane, right? One in four people who walk on a used car lot do not end up buying a car, and those are the best, most trained, in-person, interactive salespeople in the world, okay? Yet, yeah, this web page is doing it. And it shows you that there's high demand in the German markets for weight loss products. And there's, you know, and, and this page, whatever the messaging is, is working out very well. So that's really important to us. Um, and we can take a lot of information from that and say, okay, maybe we should be trying, if, we, if you speak a lick of German, right, you should be trying, it, it wouldn't be, hurt to try to sell weight loss products in Germany as a marketer, okay? Uh, let's go on to, so we talked about top offers. And let me know if you have any questions in the product. Also, this is not a green screen. Again, some people said that the other time. This is my house, okay? And I bought this with the money I earned from affiliate marketing, selling supplements, all sorts of custom, you know, custom glass. That's where my kids are. It's my backyard. Don't see any neighbors. Train to be an astronaut, okay? All that sort of stuff. So let's look into, um, we got these. Now we're gonna do format, text, strike through. Now we're gonna go into traffic tactics. So how would you promote these sorts of products that are 
against the rules of Google ads and Facebook ads and Instagram ads, right? Like how else would you do it? There's a ton of ways you can sell, um, sell products without Google and Facebook, right? For one, there's TikTok, full stop, okay? If you haven't tried selling stuff on TikTok, TikTok is absolutely exploding, okay? TikTok, it's a funny word. TikTok ads is a great place to advertise, okay? Um, and they have a lot less restrictions than a lot of your other traffic networks, right? Um, other ways that you can, uh, uh, and let me just, on JB, okay? Other places you can advertise. Now, again, this may be against the terms and conditions of YouTube, but YouTube videos, just regular videos, right? Organic, right? Non-paid content. You don't need to spend money to earn money, okay? You don't need to take your money and throw it in some cri crazy cryptocurrency to actually start earning money. You can put up videos. Anyone can put up a video on YouTube with your phone, right? You just, it's, it's so easy, okay? You don't have to pay YouTube anything to post content. And yet you can be selling stuff around, you know, look, look at this, Sarah's Blessing CBD gummies, right? There's so much content around, right? Let's, let's, let's talk about, let's find question based. Let, let's go to answer the public. Let's find some topics. Now, the easiest way to create content is simply to answer questions. Seriously, take, take information you find from Google and do it in a video form. And so let's talk about stress, okay? Because the number one thing that CBD gummies help out with is stress. So how do you sell CBD gummies? Okay, well you could talk about stress and ways to alleviate stress, right? What are people searching about stress? Well, we have a ton of questions here and this is one of my favorite, this is one of my favorite websites. Um, it's one of our, it's a hidden gem. It's called Answer the Public and I'm just posting in the link in here. Um, Answer the Public and it gives us questions on stress. Can stress, your, oh, let me, uh, let me make this a little bit bigger so y'all can see it. Can stress cause vertigo? Can stress cause high blood pressure? Can stress cause diarrhea? Um, how stress affects health? What, right? How stress affects your health? And you can literally just Google this. Take content from the internet that already talks about how stress affects your health, right? Take this information and create a YouTube video around it, okay? This is not hard. How stress affects your health, right? Well, if you had answered this question three years ago, look how old this content is, folks, okay? YouTube actually prefers new content surprisingly, okay? Yet three years ago, this person made a- Stress is a threat, a real video or that doesn't even involve a face, a real person, just a cartoon video. And they have 13,000 views for a video where they don't even show your face. Now I'm telling you, don't do that. Don't be that lazy. Use your phone, actually talk to the camera, actually talk about things, right? And you shouldn't be doing social media if you're not if if you if you aren't willing to post content on the internet. Do advertising, learn it on your own, watch my videos, sign up for my mentorship program, whatever. But look how easy this is. No person here, and you can get thirteen thousand views to your to your site. Now, if I was to do some back of the envelope math, okay, if this if this site, if this video was recommending you buy a CBD product, 
right? If this video was actually recommending that you uh, purchase some sort of supplement to help you with your health, this is, let's, let's do the math. Math, okay? We have 13,694 views, okay? And if this video, if the whole point of this video it was recommending that you purchase some CBD gummies, right? We could expect about a 10% click-through rate. 10% of the people watching this videos would click through, okay? And now if we took this number of clicks, 1,300, and we looked at Jumbleberry and we say the EPC here is $2.23, right? That means this video where nobody, where it was just computer generated video, okay? With free open use graphics. This video that was posted three years ago would have made 3000 bucks, okay? It's not huge, it's not life changing money, but it shows you how easy it is if you are posting content out there, okay? Now this video is still earning this person money years later. And that's not even counting the amount of money they earn from, uh, from, from act actually from YouTube itself. But the amount of money, how, folks, guess how much money this person earned off of 13,000 views from YouTube? Can anybody, does anybody know the numbers here? How much money did this person earn from YouTube paying them? I'll give, I'll give the chat a second to hang up. What's the highest converting offer for a random cold audience? Weight loss. Or antivirus. Or trading. Just, you know, there's a lot of these trade, and a lot of them are scams. A lot of them are these crypto trading scams. Okay, a few bucks. $500, $55. Malal, come on, let's get the answers going. So the actual amount of money that this person likely earned, it's about two to five dollars CPM. Okay, so we'll say 13, and we'll give him the benefit of the doubt. This video earned this person about $50. Yeah, $55 is a good guess. Martin Dudas, good job. Okay. Three to five thousand dollars per thousand views. Okay. Now, contrast that with affiliate marketing, right? Affiliate marketing earns 50 would have earned this person 50 times more money for them promoting an actual product. That is how big the differential is between if you leave it up to YouTube to say, hey, YouTube, I don't like making money, but maybe you can make money for me. Whereas if you actually put out videos that sell products, you will earn way, way more than anything else. And this is why I say, look, and folks, look, this is a computer generated video with voice over, you know, it's not even a real person speaking. This is text to speech, okay? So simple to do this, but you have to get in the habit of putting out content because if you're not putting out content, you're never going to succeed unless you learn, unless you're putting out money to learn advertising and to do advertising. Okay. Does that make sense, folks? Let me know if that makes sense. I mean, look how this video is ranked number one. And there's so many topics that you can do here where you can actually answer questions, right? How stress affects pregnant. It's so easy to do this fast. It's crazy. And you can answer all these questions and put out videos, put out blog posts, etc., and eventually see the money start to pile up. Okay, that is one way you would actually uh, promote this through um, uh, promote these products. Okay, so we talked about YouTube video organic, right? Question based, question based searches.
Okay. Question based searches. Answer the queue. Promote the product. Simple. Okay. Very easy method for those looking to get started and not having any money. Okay. Makes sense. And is this helpful? Right? I see a lot of folks tuning in on stock trading channels, just watching all day, learning about the ups and downs of the market. But uh, that all requires you to invest money. Right? And I thought, why not produce content around marketing, you know, where you can produce content and make money? Okay. So we talked about TikTok ads, right? But if you did TikTok ads, you'd need a landing page. Right, and, and one of the things we, where's SAS panel? Uh, now in my software, right, we do, um, oops, oops, where is my, did I sign up for the wrong thing? Where's my software? Sorry, I'm logging into, uh, uh-oh, my trial account. Um, but basically our software has a lot of these like keto diet pages, weight loss pages, a lot of different supplement landing pages um, that allow our students to promote these products on various networks. Um, let's go into more things. Now other ways that people promote these products, right, is through cloaking, right? And cloaking is, is uh, it means that you are basically going against, you know, Facebook, I'll just say Google um, and Instagram ads, okay? Some of the top affiliates for nutraceutical products are going against the rules of these ad platforms. And they're doing so by fancy programming uh, and by redirects based on you know minute things like the IP, the ISP, the location, um, the ISP is a really big factor in cloaking, um, and they're using tools like, you know, I'm not, you know, I'm not going to go into the various tools, but ba basically just link cloakers, right? Um, so that's, you know, and you can find out a lot more about that. There's a lot of affiliates that do that, stackthatmoney.com, um, on the forum called Stack That Money right which is an affiliate marketing community uh where people talk about a lot of advertising tactics and stuff um i think a lot of the people don't like me there because i uh i have training courses on affiliate marketing they're like don't teach people this stuff right keep it small but uh yeah this is there's a lot of information in here a lot of the affiliates in this group in this little community are members of that okay a other way you could find out about ways that you can actually go, like, if you really want to dive into that kind of cloaking, black hat world, um, is you can just go to forums. I'm not going to go over this information here, but the, but the black, uh, blackhatworld.com, okay? There's blackhatworld.com if you're looking for more information about kind of more uh, rule, what I call rule bending, or we call it gray hat or black hat, right? Ways of actually promoting uh, products that maybe Google and Facebook doesn't like in a certain jurisdiction. Or another place is the Affiliate World Conference, okay? And you just go here, you have to fly out to Dubai, you have to get, you know, all that stuff going on. You have to buy a ticket and, you know, the tickets are, you know, thousands of dollars. But again, you go out to Dubai, you spend a thousand bucks on a ticket, spend a thousand bucks on a hotel, spend a thousand bucks on a, t on a flight, and you will, um, you'll just go there and you'll see booths. They're little, literally people boothing, selling software programs that, you know, can't really be marketed or sold, and they're not sold or marketed outside of word of mouth circles in affiliates. So that is the place to be, an affiliate world conference is a, uh, Frankly, it's, you know, I, I'd highly suggest, you know, people go there just to check out the industry and see what's going on. And you'll meet, you know, you'll have the chance to even like run across people who are making 
$100,000 a day, who don't have any employees, because those sorts of people, you'll find them in Dubai at this conference, really, okay? Who thinks that's pretty cool? Let me know if this is useful information. I didn't know you have moved all, I thought it was a green screen. No, this is not a green screen, dude. This is my house, okay? Um, okay, let's go over more questions. Uh, other ways to promote, we went three ideas there. Uh, I could go over more ideas, let's, let's keep going up. Um, traffic tactics, and we do text strike through. Okay, let me see the chat. This vid has new info, good job. I think it's all, I mean, Falal, let me know, what sort of consistent content would you like me to go over? Because a lot of the stuff about marketing, it's, I've said it all. And frankly, you know, but then again, stock trading, you know, a lot of the actual information about stock trading, it's been said by the guys, they're just commenting on different uh, stocks, but it's the same analysis, right? I'm going to give the same analysis, I'm going to give the same kind of teaching and methods that I always give. Uh, so let me know what you guys think uh, would be useful as a sort of consistent content um, on this channel. Because I like interacting with you guys, right? I'm all alone up here in the, you know, in the mountains, right? <laughs> you know, uh, there's no neighbors or anything. Um, I mean, they're way back there. But I'd like to create consistent content that's valuable. So please comment uh, in the chat what you would find consistently, um, consistently good content. Because there are only so many, you know, the traffic methods are always going to be the same, right? It's the different social media ad networks and the organic posting. Um, uh, let me know what you think would be would be helpful here. Yeah. Um, okay, let's go. Hi, John. Hi, Vision Blur. Uh, will I go to jail for using black hat methods? No, you won't even. I mean, they're not even against the law. You can't go to jail for breaking rules, right? Don't. You break, and really, this is some advice that I got from Arnold Schwarzenegger, okay? Uh, break the rules, don't break the law, okay? The rules are in place. You know, the rules say don't stand out, right? The rules say don't interrupt. The rules say, you know, you know, uh, you know don't use politically incorrect language. The rules say, you know, ask folks for their pronouns. The rules say... Look away when somebody looks at you. The rules say that when somebody asks you how you're doing, you say good or fine, and you don't really tell them how you're really doing, right? That's what all of the rules say, and if you follow the rules your whole life, you're going to get you where the rules are meant to get you, which is in your place, and that is not going to be a successful, okay? Whereas breaking the rules will allow you to break out of those norms that are trying to be shoved in your face by the social media, by censorship, right? And censorship is nefarious because you don't see it, right? So it doesn't seem like it's going on because you don't see it, okay? So all the rules are meant to keep you in a place. No matter what, you should be breaking the rules so that, but don't break the law, never break the law, right? Um, and that is a quote, I don't know, Arnold Schwarzenegger said somewhere. At least that's who I heard it from. Okay, let's go into more questions. How, how good must be your copy? Uh, your ad copy, it's, it, it, it really, it's, it doesn't need to be that good, right? The reason why I said it is so competitive is because for most traffic, you know, if you are buying, for many of these, uh, you know, Facebook, Google, Instagram, they don't like the promotion of supplements. So you're not actually competitive. It's very easy to sell these products. They're very high in demand. People want magic button, you know, magic pill, kind of like take this pill, lose weight. You know, they sell all day at Walgreens. They sell all, you know, take this pill, you know, and be better in bed. Take this pill and get stronger muscles. Take this pill and be more focused. So the message and the product are really, they, they're, they're easy to sell. It's easy to make money. 
The reason why I said it's competitive is because you're not competing against saturation or consumers. What you're competing against is you're competing against Facebook and Instagram and Google to actually get them to show your products, especially if you're advertising. And if you're not advertising, there's other ways you can go about it. Now, if you want to join in on this document, um, if you want to join Jumbleberry, I'm going to be posting the links in here. Um, and again, I'm going to pose this question to the audience. What sort of content would you like me to see me come out con with consistently? Because um, I'm doing some walkthroughs of affiliate networks. I, you know, I could talk, you know, it's the traffic tactics are always going to be the same. You know, it's going to be like post a blog, post a video, post an Instagram post, you know, post on social media, post ads, uh, send emails, you know, if you have an email list. But you know, the, 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 but people are still not going to be successful in affiliate marketing. So I'm, I'm trying to understand what I can do to actually serve, serve you guys better. Some ideas I have, right? I'm looking at these guys like Graham Stephan or Meet Kevin, who it's the same, it's the same technical analysis each, every time, you know, and it's the same general stuff. They're just kind of commenting on the news in an entertaining fashion. Uh, so you know, whereas they are talking about, and, and, the, and the reason people stay hooked on their content is because, I guess, arguably, and you guys tell me if I'm wrong or not here, but arguably, uh, you know, you'll get a good stock pick from them once in a while, and, you know, you'll, you'll invest in some stock and you'll make a lot of money, right? Uh, you know, every once in, I don't know, you know, who, I don't know if you follow those guys, but maybe once in every 10 streams, you're going to, invest in a stock these guys recommend or talk about and uh, make, you know, hopefully make some money. And, and the kind of carrot is like, hey, look, I'm gonna give you a good stock pick and you'll make money eventually. Now, what I was thinking about for this channel was sort of along the lines of uh, talking about, you know, uh, just going through different affiliate networks and showing you the different products and offers that are available. So, you know, eventually you'll say, hey, that looks like a product I wanna promote. Another thing we could do is, you know, we could just post, you know, really just, I don't know, create blog posts or create, you know, create different random posts each time. But the problem with, if I'm just copying and pasting information and posting articles and posting videos is I don't know if that necessarily allows you to kind of like copy me in the sense of, Whereas Graham Stephan and Meet Kevin, they allow you to copy their stock pick because you just go in and invest in it yourself. Whereas if I'm talking about content and I'm saying you can copy paste this, you can't necessarily go in and copy it yourself. Okay. Uh, so that's one thing. Another idea is I kind of release a landing page in my software. We release multiple landing pages every week for new products and offers that are out there. And I could show you how, you know, I could, I could show you one way that, I mean, I could do ads every week, but my, if I ever show ads, right, the drop off in viewership is like, it's like off of a, off of a cliff because it's really boring seeing how ads are actually done. Uh, that's why I have a training course because it's actually you know, it's not complicated to do advertising and affiliate marketing, but it is, there is some work and it's not like edutainment. Uh, roasting Dan Locke. Okay, so I just go crazy with content. Maybe expand beyond affiliate marketing even. Uh, roasting Dan, good, Benjamin, that's awesome. You're approved by Jumbleberry, congrats. Google blocking, really enjoyed the podcast you shared on your community tab. Happy to hear that, right? Uh, videos about keywords that people wouldn't think about. That's a good idea, right? I love, I love finding niche keywords. Um, that could be something. We, we do a weekly live, you know, I do a weekly live stream where I show you how to promote a certain category of offer and I find unique keywords that are non-competitive to compete there. Um, and you know what? Who would like me to do that right now? I'll show you something fun here. Okay, here, I'll show you something cool. So, uh, uh, let's, let's do something cool. 
So we have, we have all these stress-related keywords, okay? We have 56. So we have a offer that's, that has a $2 EPC. What we're gonna do is we're gonna do some matching and we're gonna figure out if we can effectively sell this product and what the math would be to make this product work, okay? So let's download the CSV and we'll take this right here. And we will open this with Google, okay? Who here is up for some fun? Who here is up for some fun? Some little math analysis, getting a little fancy. Uh, and we are going to, I'm gonna show you how to do some quick math to figure out how to advertise something, okay? Okay, so let's bring this over here. We have our list of keywords and we're gonna open with Google Sheets. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's party. Let's party. Okay, so let's, let's zoom in on this a bit. If my internet will, uh, okay. Let's get rid of this. Delete columns, delete columns. Okay. And we have a bunch of keywords. Okay. Now we want to see what we want to see here is we want to see a few things. Okay. Okay. Let me get rid of this. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. Affiliate maths. Okay, so we have a two dollar and twenty three cent EPC. Okay, right. This is what we earn. What we earn. Okay. What we earn per click. Now, in order to promote these offers, the and the fundamental thing is we need a landing page, okay? So our conversion rate on our landing page, let's just assume, LP, we can call it LP conversion rate, click-through rate, whatever. We'll just say 25%. Now, if you are doing marketing, if you are using a good landing page that has been tested, like my students are doing inside my mentorship program, and like we always, you know, like you should be doing if you are modeling your landing pages after the top, you know, what the top affiliates are doing, you're gonna see about a 25% conversion rate or click through rate on your landing page, okay? Because again, people, place, product, right? That is the way marketing works. The people, right? They might come from, you know, a YouTube ad. They land on a landing page and then they go to the product. And the reason why this is always in place, right? Why you always need a landing page. I've explained this before, but it's because it just, people don't buy when they're being sold, right? They need to feel like they've been referred into something. Okay. People don't, People just don't buy when they're sold. It doesn't work, okay? Uh, people hate that. Uh, so this, this, this makes it seem like it's, a, like it's a referral. Okay, so we have LPCTR. Now given this, right, we're gonna, we're gonna do some maths here. Basically, $2.23 I mean, that's basically divided by four. That means we shouldn't spend what we want to spend per click to be profitable equals less than 55 cents. Okay? Less than 55 cents. 
Okay, now the reason for that is, is because if we take $2.23 and we divide it by the conversion rate, oh, sorry, oopsies. By 2.23. So, so I forget the equation, but basically you, this is one fourth of this. So we're looking at 55 cents. What we want to do is we want to take these keywords and we want to put them into Google and actually see what the cost of buying a click on these keywords are, okay? So where we go is you want to, with the way, the way to find this, and I have to log in, so I can't really show you me logging in, but you want to search the Google keyword tool, okay? And it's this first result right here, okay? Now, when you, anyone who has a Google account can get it there, as you see, and it says you've visited this page many times. No, 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 no doubt. Okay. Now let me log in real quick. This is what it looks like. Okay. I'm going to log in, and let's check this out. Voila, so here we are, and we want to get search volume. Now you have two options. You can put in discover new keywords, or you can, oopsies. Ah. Or you can click get search volume and forecasts right here, okay? Now we want to put search volumes and forecasts, and we just typed in all of these stress-related keywords, okay? We're going to click get started because we want to see what Google gives us, right? And what we're, but we already know sort of what we're looking for. Keep that in mind. And that's success. That's how successful folk work. Okay. Again, we already know what we're looking for and we're looking for clicks below 55 cents. Make sense? So we already know, we already have constraints of what we're looking for. And if you're going into business, right, you should already have understanding of what you're looking for, what you're going in for, the numbers, et cetera, right? I do business with zero emotion. It's just math for me and it's easy to make money. And that's how my students do business. That's what we teach in my, you know, like I work with all my students because, you know, or, you know, I do trainings and stuff for them because it's just math. Okay, let's go here. Now, here we have our bids. Okay, let me, let me zoom in on, see if I can make this bigger. Right, and we have, a, so we have some keywords here. Oh man, this is, this is crazy. Let me, let me get rid of some of these columns because this, this is making it complicated. Monthly searches. Apply. Sorry, I'm trying to rearrange these columns, modify columns. There we go. Okay. So we see these are the prices for these different keywords. If I could get my computer to operate with me. Stress rash, 30 cents. S stress fracture in foot. Can stress cause a miscarriage, $1.14. Okay. And I like question-based keywords because there's a high search intent by them. Can stress cause high blood pressure? Great keyword if you are promoting a product that is, helps cure blood pressure, right? 55 cents. Can, can stress make you sick, right? Or this is a misspelling of the word. Stress can make you sick. 54 100 people per month are searching for this, and it's only 12 cents, okay? It's only 12 cents. Now, with this sort of low bid to get somebody with a problem, with a big problem, 
and to get a click for 12 cents, that's cheaper than Facebook, okay? I pay more per click on Facebook, I pay more cl per click on YouTube, I pay more per click on all these platforms than this right here. So this is fantastic to end up getting quite a bit of audience for an offer, again, where we're gonna earn $2 per click on. And in order to be profitable, because we're using landing pages, you know, 50, you know, th this, this, this gives us a range. We're basically buying clicks for 12 cents and we're going to make 55 cents on them, okay? It's a little, it's marketing arbitrage, right? Buy a click for 12 cents, make 55 cents. Not complicated. And there's a lot of keywords here, right? There's a lot of great, great question-based keywords that we can go through and we can get a list of. We can even export this. We can do fancy stuff. We can take this out and we can just say, I just want to see the, the, I just want to see the cheapest. I just want to see the cheapest, the cheapest keywords here. Okay, what are the cheapest keywords? You know, some of these keywords, nobody's even advertising on, right? Which stress is responsible for the breaking of Pangea? Now, this is a keyword that, this, this, would, this is a different, they're talking about earthquake stress. But these are keywords that Google is saying people aren't even advertising on them, okay? Which stress can make a person worrisome, right? There's a lot of hidden gems here, folks. And it's not hard to get started, even in advertising, if you know what you're doing. If you know what you're doing. Does this make sense, folks? Does this make sense? Do I need, is there something I need to explain here more, succinct, you know, in more detail? Let me know, because this is, uh, you know, I know, I know about, a bit about this stuff, okay? Does Google want us to have a privacy policy on our landing page? They want you to link to a privacy policy. You can link to a privacy policy of the company you're promoting. Why not rely on high range? I mean, it's, I could rely on it. I, I don't really care. It doesn't matter. It's just where I get clicks. Per click means not sell. Yes, but we were, what we were looking at was we're looking at, again, nothing in affiliate marketing is guaranteed, but what we're doing is we're taking math from what we, what we know affiliates are earning per click on this particular offer, right? The blended EPC right here. So we're taking that, we're assuming I'm assuming that you're going to be using a competitive landing page. Okay? I'm not going to go back over my math a million times here. Go back to the video and look. We're assuming a 25% click-through rate on a landing page. Now, normal landing page click-through rate is somewhere between 10 to 35. Okay? 10 to 35%. So I'm sort of splitting the difference here. And then, we, so based on a landing page click-through rate, which is not an unreasonable number, and based on our blended EPC, we get to the number that if we are advertising on Google, we cannot be spending more than 55 cents per click to be profitable. Okay. And it's this level of information that most people doing affiliate marketing and paid advertising they're not working with. They're just kind of throwing things out blind. And they're saying, John, I, I posted ads. I didn't get any money, right? Well, you're not, you're not giving yourself the best chance, right? You're not doing your homework. You're not doing your research. If you, did the, if you did the math, if you did the research beforehand, you would know you have a, good bat, a better batting average, right? And you would only focus on the keywords which are below 55 cents here, okay? I think there's even a way you could set filters, you know, 
we could set filters to only show us the keywords that are below 55 cents. Okay? And that's how we know from the start that we, there's a, a good likelihood we will not be losing any money and we'll just buy clicks for 10 cents and trade, you know, make 55 cents all day. Okay? Um, reverse engineering is key. Yeah, it always is. It always is. It always comes down to math. Uh, does Google want, okay, why low range? Multiply, yeah, multiply 25. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Sunil. Um, using same keywords on landing page as video title seems to be each video with slightly different landing page. Is this actually live, people? Yes, liver of life. This is actually live. Okay. Um, keep making these videos. I love learning new marketing. Okay. Well, folks, that Digistore links don't redirect, but ClickBank does. Yes. Um, low competition in organic keywords on Answer the Public. Good to know. Okay, great. Any other questions? Folks, that is going to be it for the day. Leave a like if you love this. Let me know what you enjoyed the most about this live stream specifically. I'm working on coming out with lots more content for you. I want to help everyone here make money doing marketing, right? Or make money selling products, right? Products are flying, okay? People are spending more money than ever before on more stuff than ever before. You can get in on it, but it's, and you can get, start making money without spending a freaking dime, but you have to be producing content. You have to be producing ads or something, but you have to be putting stuff out there. And I hope I can create content that motivates you to go out there and start earning money, create your dream life you know, and all that stuff. And if you're looking for a way, if you're just unfocused and looking to get focused, right? Clean your room, okay? Clean your sink, clean your kitchen, clean your house. Make sure you have a good clean living space. Clean your face, get a haircut, get some, put, you know, uh, get, organize your drawers, organize your, the, what you control in your life and that will help you organize what you don't control in your life such as your business. Eat healthy, because it's gonna give you more energy. Drink lots of water because it's gonna make you, give you more energy and deal with stress better. Go exercise, go for a run, go to the gym every day because again, you're gonna be a more competent individual, deal with more stress, get more stuff done, okay? Get rid of the negative influences in your life and bring in some good ones. And I hope to be with you on that journey and help you make a ton of money. A ton of money. I'm trying to figure out what I'm doing right here too. I have a lot of free time, but I'm gonna be coming out with content, whether y'all watch it or not, just because if I can affect, help one person here make money and get out of there, get in a better situation, I'll be happy, folks. So great seeing you all. Talk to you soon, maybe, probably tomorrow. Enable like notifications. Subscribe. Albert Lee Carranza. Did I just get a donation? Thank you, bro. I'll go buy some coffee. I'll go get a beer. I'll, I'll buy you a beer next time I see you. Okay? All the best, folks. Have a good day. See you soon. Bye.